What's up, people of America? Welcome to my channel, Aqua1300. So glad you guys are here. Um, if you guys didn't know, this channel will be covering a lot of basketball conspiracies and theories. So that's your thing. It'll be the perfect channel for you. So today, we're going to be talking about one of the biggest busts in NBA history and how he went from the number one pick in the NBA draft to a UPS driver. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first, we're going back to the 1972 NBA draft. With the first pick, the Portland Trailblazers selected LaRue Martin out of Loyola University. In college, he averaged 18.2 points per game and 15.9 rebounds. Oh, and also, he was drafted ahead of Bob McAdoo and the Dr. Julius Irving. His college career was very successful as he went on to beat many NBA stars including UCLA's Bill Walton. Now, his college career may have been good, but not so much his NBA. His NBA career stats are 5.3 points, 0.7 assists, and 3.2 rebounds. So let's figure out why he was a flat-out bust. So LaRue Martin only played in the NBA for four years and his breakout season was 7 points per game and 5 rebounds. That's okay and all, but for a first pick, ouch. He said, I don't believe in anything negative. You have no control over that. I took care of my family and did what I had to do. I'm not that type of person that dwells on the negatives. Now, he may have succeeded off the court, but not so much on the court. LaRue blames his failure on his lack of minutes, and that may be the case, but he lacks some skill. His playing time caused him to get discouraged. He knew what he was capable of, but he never got a lot of minutes. That's the one thing he regrets, is not asking for more playing time. Martin said there was a lot of pressure as being the first pick, and I just didn't produce. I actually feel bad for the guy. From what I heard, he's really nice and polite. He still has a picture of him and Wilt Chamberlain in his office. He says his experience in the NBA helped him in life. But even after being called one of the worst busts in NBA history, he said this, you learn how to live on with it and move on in life. Now, although LaRue Martin didn't succeed in the NBA, he very much did off the court. And I think that LaRue can all teach you something. And it's that sometimes our greatest lessons come through our failure. Now that I hear myself, I kind of sound like a preacher. <laughs> That's it for this video, guys. Make sure to comment on, do you think LaRue Martin was the biggest bust in NBA history? And if not, who do you think was? Um, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and peace.